Hello YouTube, back with another update. I redid the uh, clutch lever. Um, oil in the clutch cable does miracles. It becomes much easier to pull, so I was able to shorten up the ratio. So now, that's all I need. It's not as, much, not as good as I want it, but it's much better than it was. And for quick shifting, I can just grab it down here. And if I grab it down there, I get what I was after. Able to grab the wheel between shifts. Um, I don't know if I showed the short throw shifter yet. I was able to shorten the lever too. So now it's in a more natural position. And uh, we got it running, warmed up. We're going to take it for a ride. So just like you have a clutch pedal, just ease the lever out. And as long as I'm going straight, I can let go of the wheel for a second and just go ahead and do my shift. Got a curve coming up. Just leave it in second gear. Now I am still running the stock 273 gears. And I do have the tune from Marty loaded. Got a little oomph to it. See, I can shift pretty quick. And then another curve, gotta slow down. Quick little downshift. Get out here on the main road and we'll really give her the beans. Okay, got a clear shot. Here we go. Of course, with the stock gear, she's really got some long legs, which I think I kind of like actually. So I'm already I'm doing 60 in third gear. There's fourth. We got a red light. I don't even think about fifth gear till I'm doing at least 70. Go ahead and make a turn so we don't have to wait for this light. What this car's gonna do? Because they're getting caught by the light. Here we go. We'll just drive kind of normal. I can drive around town in third gear. We get going a little faster. Go ahead and drop her into fourth. One thing I did want to kind of show is everybody's afraid to stop gears with the manual swap. They're like, oh, you have to do 355s at the minimum. Well, let's just test that theory. Let's come to a complete stop. Now my got some rev hang going on that I'm not too happy about, but we'll take care of that later. Dead stop, a little bit of throttle. Boom, we're going. No problem. Doesn't bog. I don't have to slip the clutch. It just goes. Now I'm not saying I'm not gonna do a gear swap in the future. But for now, it drives just fine with the 273. So if you're thinking about doing a manual swap and you don't have the money to do it all at once. Go ahead and just leave the stock gears. It's not an issue. And do the gear swap later on when you have the funds. All right, that's just a quick little driving video of the hand clutch. I'll take it over. So there she is. I still need to get in here and uh, modify the trim under the column to get that all back in there. But she's working just fine, and she drives just fine. And shout out to Marty, thanks for the tune. And I know you'll help me get this uh, rev hang figured out. But other than that, I'm loving it. She's fun to drive. That's it for now. Bye.